Police have finally released their suspect in the railroad killings. It was right here on this railroad where many have lost their lives, with no justice to the families. The detectives on this case worked many hours, many sleepless nights, to finally identify this suspect. If you have any information on Amelia Hart or her whereabouts, please call this number on the screen. Today, I am here with one of the town's local heroes, Jack Smith, along with all the detectives that worked tirelessly on this case. Jack, please tell me, how does it feel to finally be out of the hospital? It, uh, feels good. I, uh, I still have to go to my physical therapy. It's pretty hard for me to, um, walk after the incident, along with many other things, but... Slowly but surely, I'm getting there. If you could say anything to your shooter and the suspect of these crimes, what would you say? Well, to be completely honest with you and everybody else who's watching this broadcast, they've taken so much from me and this community. I don't know if I could have any words for them. Do the right thing. Turn yourself in. Do you believe that this suspect acted alone? I'm not allowed to comment on that at this time. Uh, all I can say is uh, this wonderful team of detectives behind me have been working very, very hard while I've been in the hospital and we are doing everything we can to ensure that this town is safe. And one last question for you, Jack. Do you think that you'll be able to rejoin the force? Well, as of right now, I'm not able to work as uh, I do have some limitations from the shooting, as I mentioned earlier, but I am working very hard and I do plan on getting back to work soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, we all heard it from Jack Smith, everybody. This town should be safe soon enough. If you have any information on the whereabouts of this suspect, Amelia Hart, please contact the number on the screen now. I lost something from Amelia, just like the rest of you. If I knew where she was, I would tell you. Last time I saw Amelia, she handed me her apartment keys and told me that she was going away for a while. Where she meant by a while, I don't know. I never saw her after that. I know you know more than what you're telling me. I know that. It's just... How much pain am I gonna have to put you through? I, I, I don't know anyone else that helped her, okay? Unfortunately, that's not the answer we were looking for. Wait, wait! Fuck, fuck, fuck. I, I, um... I, I, I'm, I might know somebody. I'm not very patient, so I'll with it. I, I, I don't know much about this woman. I just know that she gives safe harbor to fugitives and other people who are running away from law enforcement. Or other people that are... dangerous? Sort of a safe haven for criminals. Yeah, I got that part. What's her name? I don't know, I... Everybody just calls her the Temptress. I told you everything I know, I... I, I get to get... I, I get to let, be let go, right? No, I would make yourself comfortable. But I told you everything I know! Sasha? I thought you were asleep. Oh, I was kind of half asleep. I dozed off watching my show. What are you doing with my clothes? Oh, um, I was just gonna throw them in the laundry. I have to wash, um, some of my stuff, so I just thought I would 
come in here and make sure that um, nothing needed to be washed. Oh, well, thanks, but I'll get to it. So, um, how was your night out? It was fun. Would you mind grabbing me my towel? Here you go. Why are you lingering? Are you... keeping your promise? Yeah, of course, why? I just... you got home late last couple of nights and I just... I don't want you going after her, Avery. I don't want you to do anything that's gonna get you in trouble. Oh, look at you worried about me. Avery, I'm serious. You don't have to worry about anything. <sighs> okay. Look at what that monster did to my Timmy! <laughs> she should be expelled! Please try to remain calm. It's best to stay collected in these situations, especially around children. I'm a grown adult. I will handle this situation however I see fit. My child is standing here with blood dripping out of his forehead, and you aren't doing anything about it! Oh, sorry, I'm late, I'm late. That's quite alright, Miss Drake. Uh, oh, uh, I'm, I'm Smith. Uh, she's... She's only Drake. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, we do have a little bit of a situation going on here. Will Remy's father be joining us? I... don't know. <laughs> it looks like your dad is a no-show again. Yeah, well, at least my dad isn't dead. Remy! <laughs> Get your child under control! Okay, well, first off, you're not gonna speak to me like that. It's true, Mom. His dad is dead. And he likes to bully me about my family problems? Well, at least both of my parents are still alive. And I even had an extra dad. So, <clears throat> Remy, you do not act like this. This is totally, totally unacceptable. I think it's best if we let the children explain what happened. Timmy, why don't you tell us what happened? Why are we going to listen to him? He's nothing but a big fat liar anyway. Remy, you will knock this off right this instant. Well, I was in the playroom... And Remy walked in, and she picked up one of the blocks, and she started hitting me with it. Liar! Okay, Remy, what happened? You better tell the truth, Remy. I was walking past the playroom when I heard Timmy and Alice making fun of me. So I went in there, I picked up a block, and I remembered what my dad said. He said, stick up for yourself and don't let them walk all over you. So, after I picked up the block... I hit him in the head with it. And then he started screaming and, well, it kind of felt good, so I hit him in the head again. Uh, uh, your child's a monster. Remy, you do not hit people. Look at me. <sighs> Why do I need to look at you in order to hear you? What has gotten into you? You look at me so you're paying attention. You do not hit people, ever. I don't care what they're doing. If you're having troubles at school, you talk to me, your dad, or your teacher. You don't just go in and start hitting somebody. That's not you. Well, I kind of hate to break the news to you, Mom, but obviously it is me. No, I mean, that isn't going to be you. You are never going to do this again. Do you hear me? Well, now we have to figure out what to do. I have called the principal down here. I I am so, so sorry that she did this. I... I she's never done this before. I'm, I, I'm actually speechless. Really? She hasn't done this before? Because children show tons of warning signs before something like this happens. So either you aren't paying attention to your daughter, or you just chose to ignore them. Listen, I already apologized for what she did. I can't do anything other than that. I can't go back in time and I can't change when she hit Timmy. Nope, nobody can change that. Remy, apologize to Timmy right now. No, he totally deserved it. He's been bullying me, and nobody does anything about it. You always tell me, go to your teacher, go to your teacher. Well, I've been going to my teacher. I've been going to you, but nobody does nothing about it. You don't move for schools. You, you, you don't hold him accountable for nothing. Remy, you can't just take things in your own hands like this. Well, obviously, I can. Hey, um, sorry, did I miss... Anything. Mm-hmm. Remy, why don't you tell your dad what happened? Okay. I was backing past the playroom when I saw Timmy talking smack with Alice. So I went in there, picked up a block, hit him in the head a couple of times, and then he just started screaming. 
Yeah, and tell him why you did it. Well, you told me that I needed to stick up for myself, not let the bullies walk all over me. So I guarantee you, Timmy won't be walking all over me anymore. <laughs> Are you seriously laughing right now? Your daughter just assaulted someone. Well, I mean, she is right. I guarantee you he's not going to bully her anymore. I don't care what it did. That's not okay. I, I'm so sorry. Sorry I'm late. Where's this? Her principal. Ah oh, yes, finally somebody with a brain. You have to expel this little monster. She attacked my son. <sighs> well, from what I understand what's going on here... Remy has only done this once, so that doesn't really cause for an expulsion. However, we can't overlook what she did. So, what does that mean? It means, I think, the appropriate action here is a suspension. For how long? I think a week would do it. And I imagine you two will see to it that she gets proper punishment at home. Yeah, you can guarantee that. As for Timmy, the school deeply apologizes for this incident. That's it? The school just apologizes for the incident? I already suspended Remy. There's not much else I can do. And may I suggest, while Remy's on suspension, that you two get together and discuss the children's issues. So this doesn't happen again inside the classroom. Well, you can absolutely just tell that he loves his job, huh? I think a discussion with the kids is a great idea. We have nothing to talk about. Yeah, you can say that again. Thank you so much, Miss Millard, for calling me right away. No problem. I... I was just as shocked as you to see Remy act this way. She's one of my best students. Remy, grab your things. We're going home. Wow, she's really ticked, isn't she? She just doesn't want anything to make you look bad. I don't think that this makes me look bad. Do you think this makes me look bad? Well, if I'm being quite honest, kid, it doesn't particularly make you look fantastic, but... No, I don't think that, uh... I don't think that this is necessarily bad. I better not catch you in the streets, Timmy. Mom! It's alright. We'll talk to the school about it. We need to talk. <sighs> Listen, I get that you're kind of new at dealing with kids, but when child does something wrong, we don't laugh. It was pretty funny. I mean, you got to admit that at least. Really? You found humor in that? Because I found none whatsoever. You know what that told me? That told me that Remy needs help. Oh my fucking god, don't even start with this. Yes, I'm going to, Charlie, because I've been doing this your way for months now. Obviously what happened to Remy has affected her deeper than what we thought. She's fine, we don't need to send her off to some fucking shrink. I disagree. Her actions are showing otherwise. Whatever is hurting her is starting to manifest out in anger. And as much as I would like to be the one to help her, I don't think it... It's even possible for me to. It's way above both of our pay grades. You don't know what it's like to just be sent off like that. I'm not doing that to Remy. We can just try talking to her or I don't know. Charlie, I think she needs to see a professional. Mental illness runs in both of our families and I think Remy is starting to experience some of it. And on top of that, she has had a pretty traumatic year. Most adults wouldn't be able to handle what she went through. Look, I'm not going to do to her what your mom did to you, okay? I'm not putting her in an institution. I'm not leaving her. I would go right with her to the appointments. They're only 45 minutes, and they just sit down and they assess her. And if you want, you can even come with. I just, I don't. I know, you don't like the idea of it. I know you've had bad experiences before. But your experiences aren't going to be Remy's. I, um, I need to think about it. Okay, yeah, just... Don't think about it for too long. I want to get her help as soon as possible. I'll, uh, I'll call you tomorrow. Damn you, Olive. 
John? Oh, um... Mr. Smith, what are you doing here? Well, I'm laid off at work for a little while until I fully recover. Between you and I, I like to walk the track sometimes to clear my mind. Who are the flowers for? I've seen all kinds of people put memorials along the tracks. For my girlfriend. Her name was Olive. I'm so sorry, Jen. I, I didn't know. I must have been in the hospital before it happened. She was... She was a bitch. And... I broke up with her before she died. I see. Even though... She did what she did. She did deserve to die. Nobody deserves to die. Especially, especially the way she did. Somebody just, somebody just cut her down and treated her like she was some, some sort of trash. How could somebody do this? When I took the job of a unit detective, my wife was worried. She worried every late night that I had that I would end up like this. Just another mutilated corpse. I just kept telling her, no, I'm too good. They can never get me. But the truth is, none of us are invincible. And all that time my wife spent worrying about me, losing me on the job, that whole time, she was the one. I should have been worried about losing her. It just it happened so fast. When I lost her, I... I was lost. I was confused. But I had Emma. And I knew I needed to get my shit together for her. And I did. It doesn't mean that you don't love them if you move on. It just means that you had to replace the pain with something else. Hey, I'm so sorry. Just one minute. Listen, I'm so, so sorry I've been late this week. I just, I... Listen, Jen, I gave you a lot of slack a few months ago because of what happened to your girlfriend. And I get it. It's tough. It's hard. But now it's time to get back to work, and I can't keep having you being late. I have a business I have to run here. I can't keep booking clients and then you not showing up for them. I know, and I'm so, so sorry. I, I will take even extra hours this week. Prove to me that you can handle the hours you already have. Excuse me, I've been waiting up there for 10 minutes. Oh, um, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'm here for my hair coloring appointment. Oh, okay. Um, let me just put this back in the closet and, um, I can help you. Oh, great. More waiting. All right. I'm sorry about that. What can I help you with? What does it look like you can help me with? I'm here to touch up my roots. Yes, of course, ma'am. Hey, Jane, would you mind going to the computer for me and, um, making sure that Miss... <laughs> what, you don't believe that I actually have an appointment? I already know who she is. I got it all booked up for you. Have a seat. All right, Timmy, sweetheart, this is going to take probably about an hour, so why don't you go sit down and keep yourself occupied? Your son is adorable. I have a niece around his age. Okay. Well, I think um, I'm going to start out by brushing out your hair, and then it looks like we're at a pretty pastel pink color, so I'll make sure to get that mixed up for you. Are you saying I can't brush my own hair? Are you saying that it's nasty? No, no, of, of course, ma'am. It's just to make sure that's nice and straight so there's no spotting when I put on the color. <sighs> Whatever. I'll be right back. All right, ma'am, are you ready to see the final look? 
well, I've had this done other times, so I don't see why I wouldn't know what it looks like unless you did something different. It's just, it's just to make sure that you like what I did. Is there something wrong, ma'am? I just can say I'm not a fan of your technique, but as far as the color goes, mm, I would say it's amateur at best. I'm sorry you feel that way, ma'am. I can give you a $5 gift card. Five dollars? What am I supposed to buy for five dollars? You can't even buy a bottle of shampoo with that. I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I did exactly what your hairdresser used to do before. It was all written down. Well, obviously you didn't. I'm sorry you feel that way, ma'am. I would like to speak to your boss. Of course. Hi, does there seem to be a problem? Um, yes. Your employee here is giving me attitude about how I feel about my hair. I didn't think I was giving any attitude. I just simply told her that I put the color on exactly how her hairdresser put it. She left notes for me before she went on her lunch break, and I did exactly what she said to do. Is there anything specifically you don't like about your hair? Well, other than the application of it was amateur. So you just don't like how she put it in your hair, but you're not upset with the actual color yes okay well we can't really do much for that um uh, what do you mean you can't do anything for that she just offered me a five dollar gift card mm, yeah sorry we don't do refunds for complaints about technique um i mean i guess the best i could do is offer you the five dollar gift card because she already offered it but we really can't do anything for that. If you have no complaints about your actual hair, we can't really do anything. <laughs> Dear family, it's me. Jen. Now I know as you're probably reading this, you're confused, wondering if you could have done something differently or said something to me that would have made a difference and made this change. But the truth is, you couldn't have changed my mind, because my mind was made up before I even knew it. The truth is, life has become pretty unbearable. And I'm not just talking about the loss of Olive, or the loss of my parents, or my shitty job where I get shitty clients. It's just something in me. My favorite things I find no enjoyment in anymore. And it just doesn't seem like I have anything really left. To whoever's reading this, I love you. I really did, and I'm not doing this because I didn't. I'm doing this to help you. I'm taking myself so you don't have to deal with it anymore. I don't want to be that miserable person everybody needs to drag behind them. Please know I'll be reunited with people I care about. And I'm happy.